Mark Masters is with the Toronto Maple Leafs today. John Liu at the Montreal Canadiens practice facility. And you heard from Brent Wallace in Ottawa, where Sens management is. Our Matthew Shinetti is in Columbus, where the Sens play the Blue Jackets tonight. Let's begin with Mark Masters. What a crazy weekend. You've covered this team for a long time, but what happened on Saturday night was a little bit nuts. What do you expect from the Leafs today? Well, James Leafs, uh, this was one of the more wild weeks in recent memory on this beat. Three ugly losses, not just Saturday, and one really impressive victory mixed in there. And now it's up to Kyle Dubas to make sense of it all. The second-year GM will address the media at Scotiabank Arena behind me here after the deadline. It will be fascinating to hear how he sums up the current state of the team. As for the players, they're getting back to work today after a day off yesterday. They're down the road at the Ford Performance Center, about 20 minute drive down the road. Practice scheduled for 12.30 p.m. It'll be interesting to see what head coach Sheldon Keefe does to get the group back on track after what he termed another embarrassing loss on Saturday against the Hurricanes. Here the team is heading to Tampa. Later today they'll face the Lightning tomorrow and then a massive showdown against the Hurricanes on Thursday. It's a crucial week for the Leafs, James, and it all starts today. All right, thank you, Mark. Obviously, a big satellite delay there. I thought Mark was just going to shake his head the whole time, which also would have been an accurate report after we saw uh, what we saw on Saturday night. Let's bring in John Liu. Ilya Kovachuk on his way to the Montreal Canadiens. And if you think of, of that trade for a guy that nobody wanted and flipping Scandella, Mark Bergevin has done some pretty good work, John, over the last couple of months or so. What do we expect today? Uh, well, James, I'd imagine that Mark Bergevin is probably going to continue to nibble around the edges with respect to his players that will be UFAs uh, this July because, as you mentioned, Marco Scandella last Tuesday netting the Canadians a second-round pick and then a, a conditional fourth-round pick next year. And last night, uh, Ilya Kovalchuk getting them a third-round pick from Washington. They have three more UFAs coming up this summer. That would be Nate Thompson, Dale Weiss, and Christian Folan. So whether one or more of those players end up with other destinations this uh, today that will be the big question for the Canadians but there's been an awful lot of talk about just how big does Mark Bergevin want to go with this trade deadline slim to nil that he's going to go the nuclear option and offload Carey Price or Shea Weber who were the veteran pillars of this club and he said so on many occasions but it's the players in the middle lots of talk in recent weeks about Thomas Tatar Jeff Petrie and to a lesser extent Max Domi and uh, depending on what reports are out there that the uh, asks are astronomical or the players are not available so it's a very good uh, chance that there will be scrutiny surrounding Mark Bergevin and one or more of those players this uh, uh, this today uh, leading up to the three o'clock deadline now uh, Bergevin is here at the practice facility in Broussard his war room is behind us as we speak at 10:45. Ilya Kovalchuk will speak to the media for one last time before heading out to DC and then the team will be on the at 11 o'clock for their uh, practice this morning so certainly we'll be keeping an eye on to make sure that players like we mentioned like Tatar and uh, uh, Tatar uh, uh, and, and Petrie are still going to be with the club at least through the early part of this uh, of, of this work day but uh, with the draft choices that the Canadians have picked up they will have 13 as we speak which is the most in the NHL so you can certainly anticipate that Mark Bergevin is working his way up to a big spectacle when the Canadians host the draft late this June he has lots of draft currency, or he may be going up to the podium more times than any other team at the draft this year, uh, James. Good stuff. John Liu uh, in Montreal with the Montreal Canadiens on this day. And as mentioned, Matthew Shinetti is with the Ottawa Senators who play the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight. It's not maybe the hysteria, Matthew, around the Sens of the last couple of years where you had Eric Carlson and the whole fan base was in a panic. And then last year when Mark Stone went as well as Dezingle and Duchesne, but still some pieces in the possibility of moves from Pierre Dorian. James, given the fact this is the only game on the NHL schedule today, there could be a lot of eyes. There will obviously be a lot of eyes around 10.30, 10.45 into, into the 11 o'clock hour when the Sens are set to take either a full skate or an optional skate. So if it's a full skate, we will obviously be taking a look at who's coming off, looking at John gabriel Pajot and Ron Hainsey and Tyler Ennis. But if it's an optional skate, then we really won't know who is and isn't on the ice because the Sens will then hold an availability around that 10.45 time. 
And it'll be interesting, just given all the attention around the Sens, as you were mentioning, maybe is not as much as there was in past years, but there could be a lot of offloading here. So obviously we could be busy, ready, set, and waiting, of course. As for the Columbus Blue Jackets, a member of their media team came by and said, I don't know what we're going to be doing because we have so many injuries. They're not set to do a morning skate. So we all eyes are sharpened on the Sens. They, like I said, will be on the ice sometime between 1045 and 11 o'clock, James.